Alright guys, Rawfan34 was like, I don't know, in the tutorial, finally, because I haven't made a tutorial in this, for, in Lunar Magic for a while. So, I'm just gonna show some, like, extra stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna show, I'm just gonna kinda mess around. Okay, first, to delete an entire level, you just press Control delete and you just press Enter, and then it deletes everything. It deletes all screen exits and all land in the entire level. It doesn't just delete normal entrances, midway entrances, or secondary entrances, because those are separate. They don't depend on the level, they depend on um, the editor the editor up here, at the style, over here. And then, alright, so what should I do first? How about how to make blocks act like other blocks? So say we want this gray cement block to be a block with a coin inside of it. This would probably be better to demonstrate on level 105. Control delete. Alright. So I'm just going to place in some land really quick. And then click on the Mario's head that says change properties in header. And then you can choose your music the, like based off of the music in your game already. You can choose your time limit. You can choose the index memory, item index memory, which I wouldn't mess with because it really doesn't change much. So just leave that as it is. And number of screens. That's how many screens, which are these blue lines. If you click on this blue door up here, you can see screens. Screens are like... Uh, how far you can stretch an item, and each screen boundary is how far that you can make the camera go. So if you want the camera to stop when you hit this point, it won't scroll to this on this part right here. So I'm just going to set it to have uh, these two screens, so if I keep walking, you won't see any of this stuff over here. So you open up that, and then you go all the way to the top, and there's one and two screens. So I'm just going to set two screens like that. And then, so now we have two screens, it should be these two, and then we can change the music if you want to, but you guys probably can't hear it, so I'm not going to do that. The vertical scroll, this is um, obviously vertical scrolling, like upward. No vertical scroll obviously means the camera won't go up at all. Vertical scroll at will means it'll go up as, if you, as long as you're touching land that is like higher than the first original camera. So like, say I do this. Let me close this. Say I place land up here like this. When he jumps, when Mario jumps up there, as soon as he lands like this, the camera will scroll up. But it, it doesn't scroll while you're in midair. It only scrolls when you land on the piece of land. There is a patch that makes it while you scroll in midair, but sometimes it can make things harder if you're trying to make jumps. The land can go off camera while you're in midair, and you can't tell where you're gonna land, so you die a lot. Anyways, I'm deleting that, and then so that, and then vertical, no vertical scroll unless flying, climbing, etc. That means, obviously, if you jump with your cape and start flying, the camera will follow you. If you're climbing a vine, it'll start following you. And if you jump, if you're doing a run jump, it'll f the camera will follow you. But otherwise, it won't follow you. And then, no vertical or horizontal scroll obviously means it won't scroll up vertically or horizontally, which means it'll just be one screen, which would probably mean it only takes up, the camera will only show about this much, maybe. Maybe a little more. Anyways. So I'm just going to set it to vertical scroll at will. I have all that set. I need to set this to two screens. Press OK. Alright. So we have these two screens set. And now I'm going to go to the direct map 16. And you go to the, press the, use the down arrow to navigate. Go down to the third page. And there should just be these blank ones. These are your free spaces for extra tiles. Don't mess with these because they actually can mess up graphics and other levels. So go down to here, and this is all your free space. You can select one, but they're all just gray cement blocks right now that look different. So you want to open up the 16 by 16 tile map editor, which is basically the same thing. You can use the same way to navigate. But now you go down to here, and you're in your blank spaces, and you can edit now. There's two ways. You can click on it, edit 16 by 16, and you can choose each individual tile that you want it to use. And to find the tile you want to use, open up the 8 by 8 editor and then you'll see all these different tiles and then if you look once you have your mouse over a tile down here at the bottom it should say um, bottom left it should say the tile number and then you just copy that tile number so like this is tile 77 right here which is a part of a midway so you make this 77 and press ok and that's now right there at the bottom is now a spinning midway point piece 
to change the color, you use the palettes. So that's just, and to change the palettes on the 8x8 editor to see what they look like, you use page up and page down. You can see the different colors. So right now, I'm just going to um, show the other way. You can just click on something else and just paste it over there. So we want this blue in there or something. But right now, I'm going to do a gray cement block. But now it's still set to be a gray cement block. It's just pasted right there. Edit 16 by 16, and then the gameplay properties of 16 by 16 tile. What you need to change that to would be whatever the tile you want it to act like. So let's say it right now it's acting like 130, which is the gray cement block. And now you look down here on the 16 by 16, in the bottom left, that shows the tile num the tile number of the 16 by 16. So if we want it to act like a block with a flower in it, we move it, and it's tile number 11F. So we go over here, go up next page, we go like this, edit 16 by 16, we make it act like tile number 11F. Okay, and then just, um, oh yeah, I forgot to say, to paste the same way, it's basically the same way you paste. You select it with the left mouse, and you paste it with the right mouse. Once you edit it, you have to paste it in again. So we can paste it as much as we want. But anyways, I'm just going to do that really quick. So now we pasted it over, and it's going to say this every time we want. So now we go OK, and then it should be over here in this. You paste it over here, and when you move your hold your mouse over, it says a question. It says a question block with a flower inside because it's set to act like the other one. All right. So now we have to, we have to do is go back to your 16 by 16 and press F7. Yes, F9. Yes. That saves all this stuff. So otherwise, because when you open up your stuff, all your custom things will just be these blue blocks, and they won't act like anything else. It won't change. Just remember F7, F9. Now let's save your level and let's open it up in an emulator. Okie dokie. Um, where is it? It's on my desktop somewhere. Um, here it is. Alright. Fast forward. Alright. I'm just fast forwarding through that. Now it's just this level. See, now our edits have appeared. And since we set it to do two screens, it won't scroll any farther than the two screens we set it to do. And then it, it sc vertical scrolls at will, so as soon as we go up here, it will. No, did we set the vertical scroll at will? Okay, so see, it follows us when we go up. And then now this should be a block with a flower mushroom in it. Yep, it's, it normally would be a f um, flower, but since we're a little Mario, it's a mushroom. So that worked out well. So yeah, now you know how to make all those stuff. And I don't know what I'm gonna call this probably advanced part one. All right.